Where's it going? It's in the middle of town. Life really does exist everywhere along the Apalachicola River. We're here in a public park in downtown Apalachicola, Florida, and happened upon this special, amazing little creature, a Florida box turtle. This is the Gulf Coast subspecies, and they're found throughout North Florida. And it's really unusual to encounter one in such a place as this. I mean, we are literally downtown. There's no nature around us. But there's a couple cool things about this turtle I want to show you. So for starters, look at the bottom of the shell. Do you see how it's concave? That tells us that this is a male animal. And on top of that, box turtles, blandings turtles, and chicken turtles are three turtles in the United States that have a really amazing adaptation. That's called a hinged plastron. The plastron is the bottom part of the turtle. And if you look here, I don't want to hurt him, but this is actually flexible. The turtle can tuck its arms and legs and head into that. This part closes and it basically forms a box that seals it away from predators. It's a really cool adaptation. And the reason they have that is that box turtles, unlike a lot of turtles, live on land most of their lives. So you don't find them in the water, they live here. And that means they're susceptible to predation from things like foxes and all sorts of other animals. You can tell by how worn its shell is, this male is very, very old. Box turtles can live to be 70, 80 years old and they lay eggs and breed and prosper throughout their lives. So I hope that this turtle can find a way back to nature and lay some eggs and do its thing for years and years to come. So let's let it go and see where it takes off to. There you go, little guy. Chilling.